Welcome to our A360 educational series. Hi friends, in this video we are posting questions related to biology, levels of organization, classification of living organisms and scientific inquiry. Question number 1. Evolutionary change involves changes in the following. Option A. Genetic material. Option B. Structure. Option C. Function. Option D. Energy and matter. Option E. All the above. The answer to the question is option A because at the molecular level evolution involves changes in the genetic material which is composed of DNA. DNA provides a blueprint for the organization, development, and function of living organisms. During reproduction, a copy of this DNA is transmitted from parent to offspring. Question number two. Which of the following is an example of vertical evolution? Option A. Binary fission. Option B. The horse lineage. Option C. Cell division by mitosis. Option D. Transmission of HIV infection from mother to child. Option E. All the above. The answer to the question is option E because vertical gene transfer involves transmission of genetic material from a parent organism to offspring. It occurs through either sexual or asexual reproduction. Whole genome is transferred. Responsible for the inheritance of parental traits to the offspring. Other examples. Progeny produced from genetically modified organisms. Question number three. Which of the following examples show horizontal gene transfer? Option A. Conjugation. Option B. Transformation. Option C. Transduction. Option D. Antibiotic resistance. Option E. All the above. The answer to the question is option E because Horizontal gene transfer involves transfer of genetic material from one organism to another organism that is not its offspring. It occurs between unrelated organisms, mediated by transposones, plasmids, bacteriophages, and etc. Only fewer genes are transferred. It introduces new traits to organisms. Other examples, gene transfer of viral DNA by HPV causing cervical cancer in humans. Question number four. The study of genomes and proteomes provides an evolutionary foundation for understanding of biology. Option A true, option B false. The answer to the question is option A because the genome is the entire set of DNA instructions found in a cell. Genome contains all the information needed for an individual to develop and function. A genome performs these functions stores information in a stable form, provides continuity from generation to generation, acts as an instrument of evolutionary change. A proteome is a set of proteins thought to be expressed by an organism. Study of proteomes and their functions is known as proteomics. Proteomics help us understand how the various levels of biology are related to one another, from the molecular level to higher levels. Question number five. What are three domains of life? Option A. Bacteria, protists, and fungi. Option B. Bacteria, archaea, and eukarya. Option C. Archaea, plants, and animals. Option D. Protists, plants, and animals. The answer to the question is option B. Because taxonomy is a higher archaeal classification in which living organisms are organized into groups or types. From an evolutionary perspective, all forms of life can be placed into three large domains called bacteria, archaea, and eukarya. Bacteria and archaea consist of species with prokaryotic cells. Eukarya comprises species that are eukaryotes. Question number six. Use the binomial nomenclature rules to determine which is the correct scientific name for the humans. Option A. Homo sapiens. Capital H, Homo, small s, Sapiens. Option B, Homo Sapiens. Capital H, Homo, capital S, Sapiens. Option C, 
Homo sapiens. Small h, small s. Option D. Homo sapiens. Small h, Homo, capital S sapiens. Option E. None of the above. The answer to the question is option A, because all the scientific names of organisms are usually Latin. There exists two parts of a name. The first word identifies the genus, and the second word identifies the species. The name of the genus starts with the capital letter, and the name of the species starts with the lowercase letter. Match the following. 1. Cell biology. 2. Ecology. 3. Molecular biology. 4. Systems Biology A. Study of the molecular basis of biological activity in and between cells B. Study of cell structure and function C. Study of the interactions and behavior of the components of biological entities D. Study of the relationships between living organisms and their physical environment Option A, 1C, 2D, 3A, 4B. Option B, 1C, 2D, 3B, 4A. Option C, 1B, 2D, 3A, 4C. Option D, 1B, 2D, 3C, 4A. Answer to the question is option C. Question number 8. Model-based learning will enhance understanding of biological concepts and improve critical thinking skills. Option A. True. Option B. False. The answer to the question is option A because model-based learning is an educational approach. A scientific model is a conceptual, mathematical, or physical depiction of a real-world phenomenon. Some categories of models used are structural models, mechanistic models, mathematical models, temporal models, and hierarchical models. Question number 9. After observing cactus in a desert environment, an ecologist proposes that they modify their leaves to conserve water. This is an example of option A, a hypothesis, option B, a law, Option C, a theory. Option D, a prediction. Option E, an experiment. The answer to the question is option A, because a hypothesis is a proposed explanation for a natural phenomenon. A law is a statement that summarizes the relationship between variables. A theory is a well-supported explanation of observations. A prediction says what will happen in an experiment if the hypothesis is correct. An experiment is a controlled method of testing a hypothesis. Question number 10. <clears throat> a scientist working on mice wants to know if mice prefer cheese over popcorn. In what order should he plan his experiments? A. Observe how many mice eat either cheese or popcorn and calculate the amounts. B. Write a report on his observations. C. Propose his hypothesis and design his experiments. Example, number of mice for each group, quantity of cheese or popcorn, living conditions of mice, etc. Option D. Place equal amounts of cheese and popcorn near mice. Option 1. A, B, C, D. Option 2. 2. B, C, A, D. Option 3. C, D, A, B. Option 4. D, C, B, A. The answer to the question is option 3 because steps of a scientific method involves the following steps. Observe, research, inference, question, hypothesis, expectation, experiment, analysis, interpretation, conclusion, and communication. Based on this, the scientist first proposes his hypothesis, which is C, conducts experiment, which is D, analyzes his data, which is A, and interprets his observations, which is B.
If you have any questions or comments, send us an email or comment down below.